Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a tech survival starter kit that I have created. I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I'm going to go over and why I recommend you getting some of these items for your first starter kits. Um, but I think we got a good base. Um, and I don't think a lot of this is going to change as we learn more. But I think we got a lot of the basic fundamental stuff down. And I want to go over why I picked this stuff out and how to better prepare yourself for blackouts or and or any other kind of disaster all right so people that are familiar with my channel i've made an off-grid internet project so basically it's just an off-grid database of a whole bunch of important survival files and um, documents that can help you in disasters because uh, when the internet goes down you're not gonna be able to access information that you're gonna be looking for how to heal a wound how to make clean drinking water how to make a stove like things like that you want to save all that stuff somewhere that you can access offline so go ahead and check out that video i'm not gonna go in too in depth about that but also some tying into that i recommend getting books like this like survival books because just in case who knows maybe there'll be an emp attack and you lose your devices and stuff like that i mean you should get emp bags so eventually you'll see this on that cha on our channel here but like a navy seals bugging guide i saw this on tiktok i figured hey no i might as well go check it out it has a lot of useful information how to make food what to do when martial law is, is uh in effect uh how to test water, things like that. Like you want to have things like this laying around. So make sure you get a couple books and make sure that you start saving. There's a lot of free material online, which I could show. I have exactly how to do that in one of my videos. Go check it out. You want to make sure you have that stuff. So I think knowledge is power. You're, the thing you're going to want the most is the stuff that you're not going to be able to get when the internet goes down. You're not going to be able to watch a YouTube video when all this stuff hits the fan. Um, you can save offline videos. I have a lot of awful. I have a lot of offline YouTube videos on here. How to make drinking water, clean drinking water, how to skin a deer or whatever. Like you need to be able to f have that stuff available to you because when everything goes dark, you're not going to be able to look it up. So, books and off grid databases, offline databases. Keep put. Just pretend that. You want you, it's a disaster and you want to search things that you're going to need the search and just download it and save it to a file you need that so knowledge is power you're definitely going to want that because you don't want to be caught with your pants down here so i definitely recommend getting books and for me i picked this book here i'm not affiliated at all i just saw the book on tiktok and it looked really good and it actually is so it has a lot of useful stuff like i said a minute ago but go ahead i'm going to move on but definitely you want some kind of offline data, so in this form of books and storage devices, make build your databases. So here we got a, a, a drone. This is the uh, DJI uh, Nano here. So this guy, I haven't really tested yet, but this thing's gonna work. This thing, I know these things work really well. Um, I had experiences with cheaper drones. Um, I don't recommend getting cheaper drones. Um, because they sometimes I find them very buggy and they don't work the way you want them to work. Yeah, sometimes you need to have a control with it. With these DJI drones, this one in particular, it can fly on its own. Um, it has a lot of features on it, which I'm going to be making an in-depth video on this guy at some point. But there's already modes on this thing where I could just, if I want it to follow me, if I want it to go ahead of me, or if I want to do an aerial view, all I could do is hit a couple buttons and it'll automatically do it for me. So I use, I don't, it, that, like you, that's very useful. Because I don't want to have to control the drone. Maybe I just want to get a quick use it for quick recon, or I want to put a mesh tastic device on this and fly it up. So I have, um, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, have better comms, uh, off grid comms, or a temporary cell tower. Like that's what this device is going to be made for, used for. So drones are going to be very useful during these times because of that. So you want to use it for recon, see if an area is safe, or if you want to make us, you want to get an uh, some. Uh, uh, mesh tastic device on a at a high elevation fast and quick like things like that like drones can be very very useful so that's why i put it in there that's why i picked this one in particular because i know it's dgi it's not it's not a cheaper drone but for you, you get your bang for your buck and you kind of want more autonomous things right i can hit a button and think this thing will automatically follow me or do some kind of route go up in the air real quick and take do a quick uh, view of what's my surroundings that I highly recommend getting a drone like that um, for the sole purpose that you want things easy to use. You don't want to tinker with things, mess with things. I, I remember making my, that drone right there. I had such a hard time getting it just to go up and down because the, the app wouldn't load. It was a whole bunch of things. Get things that pay a little bit more. Get things that work easier. That's what I recommend. 
So we got the drone. So we're going back, we're talking about mesh tastic. So you're gonna want off grid communication stuff. So I have a lot of videos on my channel on how to make mesh tastic devices, how to flash mesh tastic on these Lilligo devices. Uh, the Helltech V3 Hero is the cheap, like under $30 mesh tastic device. Basically, these are off grid cellular networks. Um, um, it uses the lower radio protocol and mesh tastic to send uh, messages. Um, over one to three miles and these devices if they connect to one another you can have a mesh network so hence mesh tastic so and you can have these devices spread out over a hundred miles and you can send data and messages or you can send messages over a hundred miles because it, it uses it links to one another it can go further further so the more devices you have around like this the better your network would be so right now it's very limited to what it can do it can only really send text messages because of the purpose of like you can't fit so much data on this band but at the same time you get free no subscription uh communication tools that's something that's gonna be very very valuable and probably one of the second most valuable if not when it comes to tech survival gadgets you want things to be able to communicate with and this is going to be it some of these devices you need your phone with or some some of these devices you don't where it's completely isolated where this thing has mesh tastic on it has a battery and you can just turn it on and start messaging and do what you want to do so i have plenty of videos on my channel diving deep into this kind of stuff so i'm not going to spend too much time talking about it here but off-grid communication devices satellite texting devices ham radio uh, we're getting into ham radio on on our channel but this is free you don't need a license to use it something i recommend water so yeah, i'm more i'm learning i gotta I, I need to learn more about this stuff too but get things that make clean drinking water these are like tablets you can put into questionable water and uh it will turn into safe safe drinking water for you uh, they make devices like this where it's like a straw i can literally drink dirty water with this straw um and it just filters that filters it out in real time in a pinch um, water is going to be the number one thing you need to worry about. You can you can live without food for a couple of days, but after a day of not drinking water, you start to get sloppy, and uh, your body cramps up. You start making poor decisions. So you want to be able to have clean drinking water. That should be a number one priority. So I'm going to be working on finding better tech solutions for that on this channel. But you want to have at least something. I definitely recommend getting some kind of like clean these tablets like this. I'll try. I'm gonna leave links to all this stuff in the description. And uh, in devices like this, on the go, you want to put this in your to go bag or something. Like you want to have something where you can drink. You want you need clean drinking water on the go. If you drink bad, if it's really bad to drink. Like even if you don't drink water, like if you drink bad water, it's just as bad as not drinking any water. You can get really sick and die. So, and then cooking gadgets. So, like this is like a cheap like. Uh, cooking stove propane stove i mean you'll be able to get the pro you should start stocking up with some propane things but just having little stoves like this where you can cook uh if you're someone like me that has an electric stove powers out you can't use your stove etc so a lot of people do already have propane so that won't be a problem for you but for people like me and there's a lot of other people in uh areas that don't have uh propane or gas and in coming into their homes Definitely recommend getting some type of like grill or something. The next thing is these devices right here. So these are like um, solar powered battery banks. Um, this one uh, is a Gouda one. Uh, they, they actually Gouda sent this uh, guy out to me. So this thing has a whole bunch of solar panels attached to it. So this is, I'm going to show you a premium product. I'm going to show you this one. So right here, you can see right here, you get one, two, three, four, five solar panels. So basically this thing can charge pretty quickly in the sun. And uh, this way you have endless power supply when it comes to charging your devices, your phone, your communication devices, um, things of that nature. Not be not powering anything too big and strenuous, but at least you have some way to charge. And the more solar panels you have, the better. So they do sell one that just only has the one solar panel on it. I recommend you get more because if you're going to be solely relying on this to, to connect and charge all your devices, you're going to need one of these. So this guy, I really want to make a dedicated video on my channel for. This is like the premium, like, uh, this is like, this is like the premium one of those. Like this, this guy is like over a hundred dollars and it, I, I'm going to open this up so I can show you. You see the difference here. Look how big these solar panels are compared to this little guy right here. So this is gonna definitely get, you can definitely get a lot more out of this guy here. And the cool thing about this, these type of devices is that you can put these on your backpack. So like you can have this hanging 
off your backpack and walk and basically just have a like a good good uh, solar um blanket basically behind you uh when you're hiking or whatever you're doing so it's really nice and it's it's this one's like not as heavy as you think actually i could probably measure this i could weigh this right now and tell you almost it was like it's almost like three pounds almost three pounds so i mean what's really the weighing it down is the battery banks in here too so let me open up this part in a second so i got the battery banks right here so this is what it looks like. So it has, it's waterproof. Um, you get, these are pricey. You can add as much as you want on here. I ended up buying the bundle where I got this guy here with it. I ended up buying this one separately. It fits in here. Uh, so basically you can alternate. So this can charge your device. So you see right here, you can plug in your phone or whatever device you want. And uh, this has, this is 5,000 milliamp uh, battery here. And uh, we turn this guy on. It shows you the percentage of how much it's charged. I already charged up all these during the last storm I had, just in case we had a power outage. That's another thing too. This is not just good for like blackouts. This is good for when you just lose power from a bad storm. Uh, you can get cool attachments like this flashlight. So this has like a little USB uh, here and then you can just put it on the top. There we are. So now if I twist it, it has a nice little lamp. So nice little twists. You can change how bright you want it. That's a nice little flashlight. Like, it's pretty... I think this is so cool. So, really cool gadget to have. Like, this is, like, like a more, like, professional... Well, I highly recommend getting this one. I'm not partner affiliated with this company at all. But this is, like, what you want. You want something waterproof. You want something that is rugged. And you want something that will charge your stuff during, uh, when you need it. So... And you're going to be relying heavily on this kind of stuff because not a lot of people have solar generators. They're really, really expensive for a couple, for a hundred hours or so, um, especially if, buy, if you start adding these uh, attachments and uh, battery banks, you're going to want something like this. Like you should focus on buying, you should be focused on buying something like this for the sole purpose of you want to have something you can rely on to charge your devices and to use. All right, so that's it for this YouTube video. So this is my first tech survival starter kit so i'm be i'm going to be adding to this as i go along through the year and as i learn and get more devices in the shop here i have companies that are going to be sending me out some really cool stuff but i figure i make it look my beginner before i really get into it starter guide and i think this stuff right here is a good base to have um, the, I think the fundamentals are there. Let me know in the comment section if I missed anything or things that you recommend because I'm, I'm learning in this field here. I just think it's really important because I think the times we live in is not, there's never have been, as, never has been a better time to prepare yourself. I have, I have more YouTube videos on my channel that dive in deeper with some of this stuff here. So this is just a brief overview. This is just what I have collected here. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a in-depth review of this guy right here because this is probably one of the better things i invested in for tech survival uh I, I really would like to see how uh good this actually works um so once the weather gets a little better we're gonna break this guy out and check it out for ourselves but all right thank you guys for watching remember safety is an illusion i'll see you guys in the next video